We want to create a settings menu with different choices that appears if you click within the app bar on the pop-up menu button. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's go within our build method to the scaffold and here you have this app bar. And within your app bar you have the property actions and here we can create then a pop-up menu button. So we create here at the end of our app bar this pop-up menu button and if we click on this then we want to show here this menu with different items inside. To build these items you have an item builder where you need to put then a list of your items inside. And we want to start here with our first item and therefore you have here this pop-up menu item. And then you can simply put here your widget inside what should be displayed within your item, so in our case a text. And now you can click here on the settings button and you see that we show here our first pop-up menu item. If you click on this item then our settings menu will disappear and we also want to execute some functionality if we click then on this button. To do this we go here to our pop-up menu item and here we define then an integer. And this is then the type of our value which we put here inside, so this is here an integer. And over our value we can then identify here exactly this pop-up menu item. And therefore this value always needs to be unique. And now secondly we can implement here within our pop-up menu button this on selected. And here we get then every time the value or item on which we have clicked. So for example, if we have clicked here on this button, on our settings button, then we get here the value zero. And we also want to put this value then inside of our onSelected method. And this is another method which we want to create here. And now we can execute our functionality based on this item. Therefore I put here a switch inside. And in case our item is zero, then we want to add here some functionality inside. Let's get started by simply putting here a print statement inside which says clicked settings. And now we can go to our settings menu and then we can click on our settings menu item. And within our console we see then exactly this print statement. And now we can also implement here any other functionality what should happen if we click here on the settings button with the number zero because here we have defined the value as zero. So let's for example navigate here to a new page and therefore I call navigator push and with this we can navigate here to the settings page and this is another page which I have already created here. And within this page we have basically an app bar with the title settings. Make sure to click on hot restart and then we can click here on our button and we click here on settings and you see we are navigating here to the settings page. Next we want to add here some other menu items to our settings menu and if we click on these items then we also want to execute another functionality like going for example to another page. To do this you simply go to your pop-up menu button and here within your item builder within this list we want to include then another pop-up menu item and here you need to define then as a value another value which you haven't defined before so make sure that this value here is unique. And secondly you can define the widget which should be displayed, so in our case a text widget with the text share. And now after you hot reload you see here we have also our second menu item. If we now click on this menu item then we also want to execute some functionality. Therefore simply take here this value 1 and we go here to our onSelected method. And basically if we have selected the value 1 then we can execute here our functionality. And this time we also want to navigate again to a different page. However this time we take here a different page which is here in this case the share page because we click here on the share button. Alright let's also test it out. I click here on the share button and you see we are going then to the share page and this is basically here another page which I have created with the text share within our app bar. And the same thing you do then for each of your items which you want to add to your settings menu. Simply go to your item builder, then include here your pop-up menu item. Simply add here then another value, so make sure that this is unique and then put here your widget inside. After this go to this on selected again and this time if we click then on this button sign out then we also want to navigate to a new page and this is then the login page. 
And secondly, we want to remove then all the other pages from our navigation stack and therefore we are calling here this push and remove until method and here we put then a false inside which will then take care that all the routes are popped from our navigation stack. Let's also try this out. So I click here on the sign out button and you see we are going to the login page and this time all the routes are deleted so we cannot go back anymore. Let's also look at the case if we put within our item builder here a lot of other pop-up menu items inside. And now if we are here within our settings menu, you see we have here a lot of items inside. So in our case, we have here 16 items and not all of them can be displayed. And therefore this here is also scrollable. At the time of this recording, you cannot change the height of the settings menu. So you cannot limit the settings menu in height. And this means if you put here many items inside, then it will also take here the maximum height until the bottom and you cannot change it. Next, we also want to include here a divider between our items. And therefore you simply go here in between of your items where you want to include it and then you put here this pop-up menu divider inside. And with this we have now a divider between our share item and our sign out item. And here you see then also this divider in between and you also can later change here the color of this divider. But before we do this, we also want to add before our items here an icon. To add an icon before your item is pretty simple. So you simply can define here the widget which should be displayed here for this item. And I simply replace it here by a row widget so that we can display multiple widgets next to each other. And we display here then the text which we have displayed before. And next to it we also want to display then an icon which is here this logout icon. And with this you see that we also have here this icon within our item inside which we have then here defined. And you can basically define here any widgets which should be displayed here within your item. We also want to customize and change the style of our settings menu. Therefore we want to start by changing here the background color of our settings menu. To do this you go to your pop-up menu button and here inside you have a property color and then you can set the background color of your settings menu. And now you see we have here exactly this color which we have defined here. Next we also want to change then the text color and also the divider color. To do this easily, you simply wrap here around your pop-up menu button another widget which is here the theme widget. And inside of the theme data we get then our current theme and we want to modify our current theme a bit. So the first thing is that we want to set here the icon theme to this color white. And with this we make sure that this item here, our pop-up menu item, stays in the color of white. However, you can also change it. So for example, if you set it to red, then you see that this is changing. Secondly, we also want to define here the divider color and we set it here to white. And now if we close our menu and go here again inside, you see that we have also the divider color as white. And lastly, we also want to modify here our text color. And this is what you can then put here directly inside of the different texts. Or what you also can do is by simply going here inside of your theme and then you basically define here the text theme and then you set the color of your text to the color of white. And with this all of our text have now the color of white which we have defined here. And lastly we also want to change here our icon color and therefore we simply go here to this lockout icon and here we had this color black inside and we simply remove it. And with this also our icon has the color of white. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and a more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!